So if you're like me and you have the King's Quickie rooftop tent, you've probably found that the length of it's really good, the width of it's pretty good too, um, and it's just a really good tent except for the stock mattress, which is like, you know, 50 mil thick. Um, so I'm gonna make it a bit more comfortable um, pretty cheaply and I'll uh, show you how I do it. I'm only gonna need a few things to do this upgrade. Um, and the only thing that I spent money on was these two foam underlays. Uh, $40 for the queen size, $30 for the king single size. Um, I went with these sizes just because of the length They're at 2.03, which is nearly as long as the stock mattress at 2.07. Um, and then the king single, I mean, you don't even have to cut it, it should just fit straight into the bottom of the tent. And then the queen size one, um, we're gonna cut to the shape of the stock mattress just so it covers the whole area nicely. Um, and to cut it, you're just gonna need a, just any marker that you can find and then any pair of scissors will do because it's pretty thin foam. Um, and then a king size fitted sheet to wrap up all the mattresses um, in the tent. And then yeah, if you, you're gonna go camping, you're gonna need some pillows and sleeping bags, whatever you normally wanna camp with. So I've pulled the stock mattress out of the tent to show you what it looks like. So it's just this bit of foam here, high density foam. And like I said, it's right around 50 mils, 50 mils thick, which is like, okay, if you're like a weekend camper, but we want to sleep in here like for six months straight. So yeah, it's just not going to cut it. And it comes in this kind of camo green looking thing. Just for reference as well, the stock mattress is about 1200 mils wide, to be exact, it's 1210. And then lengthways, 2070 mils. Um, and then you've obviously got the corners. So I found these um, foam underlay, mattress underlay things. Um, Kmart and Target sells them. Target just happened to have some stock. Um, and I'll show you what they look like. So what I'm going to do is add these to the base of the tent, um, as well as on top of the stock mattress um, to give it a, you know, about an extra 50 mil because these are about, I think, 225 mil um, deep. So I'll add one to the bottom of the tent and then one on top of the mattress and that should hopefully give us some more comfort. So this is what the inside of the King's Quickie tent looks like. Um, without the mattressing, so it's just got this, I don't know what this is, it's like a styrofoam almost base. So yeah, that's what you feel underneath you when you roll over um, with the stock mattress. So I'll show you now what it looks like when I get the uh, new stuff in. So this is what it looks like with the first layer in. I purposely went for a king single size for the first layer just because it fits um, a little bit nicer, like obviously it doesn't reach the edges, but um, the actual mattress will do that. Um, just fits a bit nicer for the first layer. And the first layer, I don't reckon, needs to really come all the way to the edges. The other thing you'll want to do as well before you put the stock mattress back in is get your bigger overlay, which is my queen size one, um, and mark out the shape that the stock mattress makes. This should be really easy to cut, so I'll show you what that looks like. So there you have it, just using whatever mark I could find around the house and a normal pair of scissors. I just cut it off and fit it to the mattress and now it fits nicely to the shape of it. Doesn't need to be, you know, that's not perfect there. Just needs to be roughly the same shape so it will still fit up in the tent. So now I'll show you what it looks like when I put them up there. All right, so we've now got all three layers in the tent. You do have to kind of like wedge it into the sides a bit just to make sure it fits, but as you can see, that's the stock mattress under there and then the extra one down there. And I can already tell that this is going to be way more comfortable. Just feel, I lay down in it as well just to check. Like when you roll on your side and you feel your hip bone into the mattress, it doesn't like bottom out. Um, so now I'm just going to chuck a sheet on it and test if all the struts and stuff still work and what I need to do if it needs to be modified or anything. Okay, so here is the final product and it is really comfortable. Like so much better than what it was before. Adding those really helps out and when you lie on your side, like your hips not digging right through and hitting that hard surface on the bottom. Um, I just used a King 
size um, fitted sheet for the bottom bit, just wrapped it around and tucked it into all the corners. And then I've got these huge, nice, thick memory foam bamboo pillows, two of them, and as well as this kind of pretty thick, um, like this duvet thing. And believe it or not, it all fits in. Just got to put the pillows stacked kind of like that and the tent will shut completely i'll show you the footage now of that and yeah it's just super stoked with how it's turned out um I'm more happy to be honest it's really made this tent really worthwhile just doing that small little upgrade it only cost me what 70 bucks so yeah pretty happy with that so i hope you enjoyed and have any questions on how i did it feel free to ask and um yeah i'll let you guys know otherwise enjoy your more comfortable king's quickie